Dark Element Labs Vengeance pre-workout review. This is Dave with Mission to Muscle. And it says on a bottle here, violently aggressive pre-workout. So all in all, this is about 250 milligrams of caffeine. So if you guys are looking for a, a low caffeine pre-workout, as far as stim wise, this might be what you're looking for. So stick around, I'll go over the ingredient profile first, and then we'll get into the effects afterwards. Right on the top of the list, we have citrulline malate, two to one ratio at eight grams. It's gonna give you about five grams of L-citrulline, and the rest is gonna be the malic acid, which is gonna help out paired with the L-citrulline endurance power output in the gym. Then we have beta alanine at five whopping grams. This is for the pins and needles, the itching, the scratching, and rubbing at five whopping grams. <laughs> Then we have betaine and hydrus, 2.5 grams. This is gonna give you some power output in the gym. It's gonna help with uh, cell hydration. So it's gonna help out with the endurance, muscle endurance in the gym. Then we have agnotane sulfate at 1.25 grams. This is gonna help out with the vasodilation. It controls the NOS in the body as far as the ENOS and NOS and INOS. Also, it's a great GDA. So on its own, I'm a type one diabetic. I take this and I notice it helps balance out my sugars after I've eaten a carb meal. So great for partition, partitioning of nutrients and getting them into the muscles. Then we have l tyrosine at one gram. This is for less fatigue, mostly mental fatigue in the gym. It's supposed to give you a state of well-being. Um, and through that, it's supposed to kind of like when it's coupled with caffeine, give you a little bit of endurance or energy throughout the gym. Then we have Alpha GPC 600 milligrams. That's not bad, I like that. I like the 600 milligram dose because those are the studies that were done on the growth hormone uh, increase. They were done on power output on 600 milligrams. And of course, it's a choline source, so it's gonna help with focus, cognitive function. Then we have caffeine in hydrous at 250 milligrams. Not bad, it's a low dose caffeine. Then we have hortonine. HCL, 100 milligrams. Now this is a beta receptor agonist. So it helps with fat mobilization in, in, as far as the fat loss and energy in the gym, using fat as the body's, you know, kind of like tricked into releasing fatty acids out of the receptors. It also is a, a stimulant up regulator. That's what I like to call it. So basically what this does, it doesn't have too much of a stimulant effect on its own. But when you couple it with other stimulants, it actually enhances and elevates the effects of the other stimulants when they're all paired together. Great ingredient, uh, great for cognitive function, great for focus. It helps and attacks the dopamine, uh, not attacks it, but it raises dopamine levels in the body, which helps with the, a little bit of well being as well. Then we have hygienamine. HCL at 50 milligrams. This is another stimulant that's a light stimulant, but when it's, when it's paired with hortonine and other stimulants, you really get some good effects. And this is another beta receptor agonist, just like hortonine. And just so you guys know, beta receptor agonists help with uh, bronchial dilation as far as it's, it, um, what does it do? It relaxes the muscles around the airways to allow more oxygen intake into the body during training, which in turn, you get more oxygen in your blood, you're gonna have more energy. So hygienamine back at that, that's also a you know fat mobilizer, and it's got some stimulant effects and some cognitive function effects. Then we have isopropolinor synephrine. This is kind of the, the pharmaceutical grade of synephrine, and this is also a beta receptor agonist, but it's also an alpha receptor agonist. So this is actually supposed to mobilize fat, it's been proven before training, and uh, gonna give you some energy, gonna give you some fat loss, it's gonna elevate the, the metabolic rate, kind of warm you up a little bit. That's 30 milligrams, it's not bad. Then we have black pepper extract at 10 milligrams, this is for digestion, digestion of all these ingredients. And then we have heparcine A at 1%, 200 micrograms, not bad, it's for cognitive function. It helps with choline production in the body and you know mental fo focus and cognitive function. So what are you gonna do, or what's gonna happen when you take this? Um, first. Let's just get this out of the way because I do get comments on this. This is a blue raspberry. The taste is perfect. It's fine. You're not going to throw up. You're not going to gag. You're going to be perfect with it. And that's all I'm going to say about taste. Then we have the scoop. It's a one scoop at 20 servings. This is about $45, just so you guys know, just in case you're interested in purchasing it. And this is something you're looking for. And each scoop is 21.2 grams. 
Now a flat level scoop, just so you know, is about 20.2 20, 20 grams, so it's about a gram low. So if you go ahead and do like a heaping, you know, kind of a little dome on the top of the scoop, you're gonna get that 21.2, 21.4 grams, and you won't need a scale. But like I'm always saying, if you're doing stim pre-workouts or any pre-workout and you want the benefits off of the ingredients in the pre-workout, because this one here is actually efficaciously dosed, if I'm saying that right, on everything. So everything's on the high end as far as dosing and the studies were done on all these dosages so for the effects. So if you want the effects of a, of a pre-workout that's dosed like this, you wanna get the actual amount, the 21.2 grams and the scale helps. Enough said about that. When you first take the scoop, the beta alanine, five grams, those pins and needles, the itching, the rubbing, the scratching, starts to kick in in about eight minutes. Clocked it each and every time. Lightly kicked in in eight minutes, felt it. By 10 minutes, it was at its peak. So 10 to 15 minutes is pretty much what you're gonna get. So if you are sitting there and you're like, I hope this doesn't get any stronger, it's not going to after about the 10, 15 minutes, but it does last for a good hour. So, it, but, it, but it kind of dials down after about 45 minutes. So, I mean, it's not like elevated at that 10, 15 minute mark forever. <laughs> so you're like, ah, crap. So it does dial down. You start to feel, after you take that scoop, about 15 to 20 minutes in, you start to feel a little bit of energy coming up, and kind of an awakening, awakeness. About 25 minutes in, you start to get that slight sense of urgency. So there's no raised heart rate on this or anything like that, um, but there's like an urgent feeling, like kind of, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, where you kind of get that kind of like a shaky feeling inside where you gotta move. That comes on, like I said, 25, 20 to 25 minutes. By 30 minutes, you pretty much wanna move. So it's not peaked at that time, but it's almost peaked. I'd say about 35 to 40 minutes, the energy is peaked. The focus, the focus starts to come in within about that 25 minute mark. And the focus really doesn't peak until about 45 minutes to an hour. And the focus is, is that uh, no one else is in the room focus. But it doesn't happen until that 45 minutes to an hour, and it lasts for about an hour. So it really benefits your training because you, you're able to focus in on everything going on. I mean, it's, it's not tunnel vision to where you're in a bubble or anything like that. But when you start to dial in, you start training, you literally forget that there's anything else going on in the room. It's like you're the only person in the room left. So and that lasts, that lasts along with the energy, the really intense focus for about an hour. And then it starts to taper down. The energy lasts for that hour, starts to taper down a little bit to a half an hour, and then tapers down some more, about two hours. So you can get like a good two hours of energy as far as training on this and a decent amount of focus. What the star of the show is on this is honestly the energy and the focus being it's only 250 milligrams of caffeine. And when you come off of this, it leaves you with, now hortonine and some of these ingredients in here, they elevate your natural energy levels. So dopamine and fat, you know, mobilization and all that stuff. So when you're done with this pre-workout, the, the nice thing about it is you're left with an upper feeling of natural energy that your body's like kind of just, you've just been enhanced a little bit. And it lasts for about two, three, four hours after training. And I'm not saying that you're gonna be running around like energized to go train again. Although, to be honest with you, there's been a couple times, I've taken this four times where I've worked for three, four hours because I had a slow day and I'm driving home thinking, man, I can go on a treadmill for a little bit more just because I feel good still. And there's still like a little bit of energy there. But it's not intense. Like it's not like I just took 250 milligrams more of caffeine and another the dose of this. But there's like a sense of well-being and an uplift feeling, uh, motivated feeling, uh, along with a little bit of the kind of like you're still dialed in and focused as well. But it, but like I said, that's the star of the show. This actually delivers some decent, very nice, smooth energy throughout from from the get-go all the way to the ending. So if you like work during the day like I do and you need some energy afterwards, but you're not looking for some kind of like high stim DMAA, DMBA, DMHA, Yohimbine, you know, Alpha Yo type product, this is actually, it's actually pretty decent. I, I recommend it for someone that's not looking for those things and just wants some, something that's got like a low caffeine source and a decent, you know, energy kick to it with a really good focus with that tunnel vision focus. Now onto the pumps. The pumps are actually pretty good. Pumps and power output. So you get some really good, decent energy and endurance from this. 
because of the fact that you're pretty much stimulated in ways that aren't kind of affecting your central nervous system, you are kind of driven with a natural sense of energy through the whole thing. So the oxygen intake, you know, you got the beta alanine, you're really working a lot on your natural sources and it feels real good. But if you do try this, just so you know, I've taken this four days, the first two days I tried this, I trained a little more intense because it just made me drive a little bit more and I was literally sore for a couple days. So, and this doesn't happen to me on a lot of pre-workouts, but it, it really drew, drove me with some good mind-muscle connection and just extra reps and in the gym. Strength-wise, the strength is there, but it's not more of like, oh, I can go and push more weight. It's more like contractional strength. So when you're in there because the focus is so dialed in and you're curling or something, it's like you're gripping that sucker, which just so you guys know, before you curl you want to, or pull or any kind of push, grip really tight and engages the whole body, but you focus, you're so concentrated that you grip, boom, and you're just feeling the contraction throughout the whole movement. It's, it feels real good. You know, some of these pre-workouts, I hate to move on to other ones to try it because I don't know what's gonna happen on another one, how it's gonna affect my training, if it's gonna be just as good. So um, this is one that I'm kind of like, I'm gonna remember for these actions. It's not a forgettable type pre-workout. I really do like it because of the fact it doesn't have the alpha yo, it doesn't have the the DMHA, DMBA, and deliver all what you need pretty much in a pre-workout. Good sustained energy, uh, power output as far as endurance wise, pushing out for more reps, great focus as far as that, uh, that attention and that cognitive focus is just dialed in. So very good pre-workout. If you guys have any comments, as far as questions on this thing, definitely leave it down below. I'll put a link to the website, I don't get anything from this. Uh, the owner is a, a veteran, so this is a veteran-owned company, if you'd like to support veteran-owned companies. His name is Q, and he is a cool dude, and he's doing a lot for veterans through the company, and that's pretty much why he started it. I got to talk to him a little bit. So he's got his foundation, is pretty much built something off of this product line that he's got, so he can in turn give back. So. I appreciate small companies like that and people that are actually doing good. So, Dark Element Labs, Vengeance. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. This is Dave. I'm going to get back to my workout. We'll see you guys next time.